coming up in this video, I finally got a bottle. This is Captain Morgan's brand new gingerbread uh, spiced rum or spiced rum spirit drink, I should say. Want to know all about it, what it tastes like. Stay tuned. Hello, rum fans. I'm Steve the Barman, and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve, and enjoy better quality rum. And at the moment, spiced rums. That's what my emphasis is on. Let's dive straight into this. This is Captain Morgan's brand new gingerbread uh, spiced rum uh, spirit drink. We can't call it a spiced rum uh, or a rum because it's 30% ABV. It has to be above 37.5% ABV in the UK or 40% in the US. So it's just a spirit based drink. But gingerbread, haven't opened it yet. I'm hoping it's going to be tasting amazing. At the time of shooting, October 2019 is when it's just been launched, literally in the last week, two weeks or so. It, at this precise moment, it is exclusive to Asda in the UK and a handful of Green King pubs. You will not be able to get this anywhere else at the time being. But my Diageo source, and I quote, has said to me, for the time being. So... They're just going to see how it rolls. This is just coming out at the right time for the next sort of four, five, six months potentially. Captain Morgan, as the brand, I think I'm right in saying this, have just literally celebrated their uh, 75th uh, anniversary. They were formed in 1944. Back in those days, it was Seagram's uh, Canada, I think it was, where this was launched before the might of Diageo uh, came in and bought it out, I think, early 2000s, if not 2000, 2001. Uh, so it's been Diageo owned ever since. Uh, it gets a lot of haters from proper rum fans, uh, especially in the UK, purely because of Providence. You know, it's a different, and this is the thing with Diageo products, it's a different. Uh, liquid in every single country. The rums are bought and blended specifically for that area. So the US Captain Morgan is a very different beast to what the UK and European Captain Morgan is. The only thing they will have in common is this sort of that caramel uh, dosage colouring is added to kind of give Captain Morgan that same colour uh, universally worldwide. And here's a knowledge bomb for you as well. I th funny, I thought this would be actually quite commonly known, but gingerbread is actually not a thing it's a byproduct of a few ingredients put together there's, there's a few people i've been chatting to recently that actually thought gingerbread was a thing it's not it's a, it's a collection of cinnamon nutmeg allspice uh, a bit of pepper blended together um, with a sweetener, either like treacle or honey or molasses something like that so that is what gingerbread is on the nose, the big flavours I get in there is obviously the cinnamon. I get a lot of the cloves coming through again. Big, bold flavours. Smells very sweet as well, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. That's going to be deceptively dangerous to drink because you don't, you don't get the alcohol from that at all. It's 30% ABV, so it's a lot stronger than sort of some of your liqueurs out there and things like that. So it's got a decent kick to it, but it hasn't got that kind of rum bite that you would expect from a lot of spiced rums. The heat I get off it, it's kind of, it's very well balanced actually. It's a really, really nice drink. I get the cinnamon coming forward. Uh, I get a touch of uh, cloves on there, but I get a little bit of pepper. It's that pepper kick that comes through that I think just rounds that off and makes it that an exceptional kind of sort of wintry drink. It's gonna be really lovely to play around with. Quick tasting and Diageo and Captain Morgan have absolutely nailed this uh, for the festive season, especially in the UK. As I say, it's a guilt-free, uh, pleasant drink. They're recommended serves. They've got three for this. They've got normal Coca-Cola, uh, sort of pressed apple juice, and then hot, so cold apple juice, and then we've got hot or warmed up apple juice. You could go and um, do a little bit more with that, add some more spices. But that's all I've tried, and each and every one of those tastes really, really good. I haven't actually got a can at the moment, but what that reminds me of, and I really, really like it, is Pepsi Max's Ginger. Um, except that it's got obviously a lot more of a gingery kind of kick to it. The Coke really complements 
uh, the spices in there, the ginger, the cinnamon, and that little bit of pepper, that just works very, very well as a Captain Morgan's gingerbread and Coke. Really, really love that. Now, when it comes to apple, we all know that apple juice, apple and ginger, is just a match made in heaven. So this was always gonna work. I can't actually decide which is my favorite, whether I enjoy it cold more or whether I enjoy it hot. Each and every one of those. The one thing I will say, it's not as sweet as I was expecting. I was actually expecting it to be a lot sweeter, a lot more syrupy, and it's not. It just makes a very pleasant drink. You know, let's let's talk, let's equate another Diageo product, Pims. It's nothing special, but people go absolutely nuts for it in the summer. But there is nothing kind of winter related. You know, we've all got the mulled wine and the mulled ciders and that thing. But as a spirit serve, there's nothing really to kind of to take the whole Pim summer mantle through to the winter. And this could be it. If you're a pub, if you're a bar in the UK, get on this because this is just going to make you money. And if you do, if you do go to a supermarket, if you're at home and try it, I guarantee that friends, family, get round bonfire night, things like that, that is just going to work a treat. As I say, I can't really split them. I love all three. I've been Steve the Barman. Drop me a comment below on what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.